It is important to emphasize that for equilibrium to be achieved, there must be no loss or gain of substances in the system. The effects of changes on equilibrium are based on the Le Chatelier's principle. This is from name of a person called Lech Italia uh, that lived between uh, that is uh, 1850 to 1936. Uh, the principle states that which states that When a change in condition is applied, to a system in equilibrium, Then the system move in direction to oppose the change. Equilibrium then the system move in a direction to oppose the change. It is uh, always important that as we want to uh, try to go through these factors, it is this law that should govern you throughout uh, the discussion. The Le Chatelier's principle. This principle is the guideline throughout the discussion of the factors that affect chemical equilibrium. And we've said uh, the Le Chatelier's principle states that when a change in condition is applied to a system in equilibrium, then the system a mover in a direction to oppose the change. That is, when a change is applied to a system in chemical equilibrium, then the equilibrium shifts in a way that tends to reduce the effect of change. Shifts in a way that tends to reduce the effect of change. The effect of the change. These effects are, or these factors include factors. The first factor is a change of pressure. That is pressure. Change of concentration. Change of temperature. You can talk about Catalyst.
change of catalyst. So these are the four factors that you want to try uh, to discuss uh, so that we see how they affect system in uh, equilibrium or the system at equilibrium.